Sen. Lindsey Graham, the chair of the Judiciary Committee, jumped on Inspector General Michael Horowitz's report as extensive descriptions of Christopher Steele's dossier on Trump and the efforts the FBI took to verify information in it. He even shared what he says now were his initial reactions to it. First, some background, the dossier, before it was made public, had been sent to the late Sen. John McCain. McCain, a longtime close friend of Graham S. before his death, had tasked a staffer at his Foreign Policy Institute to determine whether Steele's information was serious and had spoken to Graham about it. McCain quickly turned the dossier over to the FBI, he rests what Graham said today, John McCain puts it in his safe, he gives it to me and I read it. And the first thing I thought of was oh my god. One of two things, this could be Russian disinformation or they may have something on Trump. If you read this document, the first thing you would think of is they got something on Donald Trump. It is stunning. It is damning. It is salacious. And it is a bunch of crap. He continued, I told him the only thing I knew to do with it, it could be a bunch of garbage, it could be true, who knows. Turn it over to somebody whose job it is to find these things out and John McCain acted appropriately. And I understand that, clearly people are in the McCain world that did some things inappropriate but it was not John McCain, Graham said. John McCain did not give it to anybody in the press, he talked to me just as soon as he got it, and he turned it over to the FBI and that's exactly what he should have done. In fact, many of the claims in Steele's dossier have held up over time, or have proven to be at least partially true, including the fact that there was a concerted Russian operation to attacking the 2016 US election. Some of the more salacious claims in the dossier, however, including what the Inspector General described as videotapes of alleged unorthodox sexual behavior, called to be confirmed, Horowitz noted Monday.